bulk of the Hebrews are in Africa. One can only prove Hebrew identity through ancestry. And no Hebrew here in America can prove their Hebrew identity without a shadow of a doubt, without falling back on their African ancestry. We have to use the same criteria that every human on earth uses to prove their ancestry. We are an ethno-linguistic group who are members of the human race. Maybe some of us forgot that. So we prove our ancestry same way as any member of the human race, not solely on scriptures from the Bible like a religious cult. You can use three criteria to show and prove someone's claim of being a Hebrew. We can use one, an in-depth knowledge of the people's oral history. Two, knowledge of the people's culture or tradition and compare it to information in the Torah. Three, landmarks or city names that agree with similar names in the Torah. Now, all these countries on this 12 tribes chart will have to show us a community that predates colonialism or imperialism that fits these three criteria: their culture, language, and landmarks. Someone has to show us evidence that validates the claim of this 12 tribe chart. I can show you all day countless tribes in West Africa that fit all these three criteria easily. Let's look at one. It's important to note that modern Hebrew tends to add a letter to some ancient Eve words. Eve means Hebrew. Example, the modern Hebrew name Gad is a corruption of Gan, and Dan is a corruption of Da. That is why the people call themselves Gans and not Gads. Let's look at the tribe of Da, what is commonly known as Dan. Majority of the people who make up the tribe of Da occupy the landmark currently known as the Republic of Benin. They are spread across what used to be every land, every Nibra. The majority live in the Republic of Benin. For centuries, the country was known as Dahomey before it was renamed to Benin. What does Dahomey mean? Let's turn to the oral tradition of the people to answer this question. Dahomey is a compound name, Da and Homey. Da is the name of their ancestor and Homey means home. Put together, you get the home of Da, what we call Dan now. Specifically, the home of the tribe of Dan. Remember, the N is an addition. According to the oral tradition of the people of Dahomey, their ancestors moved to a strange land looking for a place to settle. They came upon a man who occupied a very large piece of land. They killed him and took his land and named their new found land after their ancestor, Da or Dan. So they named the place Dahomey, the home of Dan. Judges chapters 18 tells an amazing similar story of how the tribe of Da found their home. But I want to focus on verses 29. And they call the name of the city Da after the name of Dan, their father, who was born to Israel. But actually, Laish was the name of the city at first. So the name Dan or Da started as the name of the children of Da in Israel. And they carried the name along when they migrated to West Africa. What was the tribe of Dan known for in the Torah? The tribe of Dan brought idolatry to Israel when Micah brought idols after they established their home. Jeroboam, the king of the first king of the ten tribes, also set up the home of Dan for idol worship. Now, anyone who knows even very little about Dahomey knows that when it comes to idol worship and paganism, Dahomey is the place to go. Exactly the duplicate of what we had in ancient Israel. They have maintained it to the present day. When the French colonized Dahomey, they mocked their idols and they scornfully referred to them as Jewy Jewy, which means play items in French. 
Because the locals could not speak their language, Juju we morphed into Juju. The word Juju, which has become the universal word for idolatry and any kind of demonic worship, originated from the home of the tribe of Da or Dan. And the Bible supports the evidence. That is what they were known for in the Torah. The people of Dahomey are also famous for the snake, playing a big role in their rituals and shrines. What was the blessing given to Dan or Da when Jacob was about to die and he pronounced blessings on his children? Dan will be a serpent by the roadside, a viper along the path that bites the horse's heels so that its rider tumbles backward. What does da mean in the evit tongue? It means snake. So now we can check off the three criteria. One, the in-depth knowledge of the people's oral history. Two, knowing the people's culture or tradition and comparing it to information in the Torah. Three, names of landmarks that agree with similar names in the Torah. And we've done that with the Hebrews in Dahomey. We want proofs. Show us that the West Indians are from the tribe of Benjamin. Using the same criteria I just used. I'm not saying anyone is not or is a Hebrew. What I'm saying is that one should base their claims on facts. And not on falsified information or bogus verses from the Bible. That is why I don't subscribe to the 12 tribe chart because they don't meet this criteria. It's falsified. It's a fallacy.